Hey you going guys, Jared Romley here from GoPro Tutorials and Films and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to use Lightroom to get the best quality from those time lapses you've taken. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is just open Lightroom and you just want to go to Import, make sure that it's in the Library section of the Lightroom. So you just want to click on Import and just come up with a wide thing. So you just want to go to wherever your pictures are, Is so I've taken a time lapse of a spider and you just want to click Import. So this will import those photos into Lightroom for you. Alright, so once you've done this, just wait for this to finally import it all. Yep. Nearly done. Once you've find, done them all, you just want to find a picture that sort of represents the entirety of your time lapse. So nothing incredibly bright, just the sort of most standard picture so it won't look bad in all of the pictures. So let's just choose maybe this one here and you just want to go up to develop. So let's just click on develop. Uh, so that comes up with a, a wide array of effects you can use to make your picture look better. So just for this picture, I'm just going to make, this is all personal preference, so just edit your picture to get the best results you want from it. So I'm just going to boost my exposure a little bit so I can see the spider web nice and clearly. Increase the contrast so the spider web is really nice and seeable. Right, let's make those highlights just a little bit more. Uh, probably pull them down a little bit. Uh, shadows can pull down a fair bit. Whites and blacks, let's just leave them for now. And clarity, let's boost it all the way up to about there, maybe. Uh, so that, that's your basic sort of thing. So let's just maybe go down to detail. And because I want to see my spider web quite clearly, I might increase the sharpening quite a bit. And now obviously make the background noise a little bit more. So I might increase my noise reduction just a little bit more. So about there. Um, let's just go, last of all, let's just go to HSL, which will add some color or saturation. So let's just saturate a little bit more of those oranges because they look really nice. And there we go. So that's the picture fully edited. So this can take you however long you want. That's just how to edit your pictures. You can go into lens corrections and effects and camera cal cal calibration if you want to. But for right now, let's just get, do the basics. So let's just right, you want to right click on the picture that you've edited. So just right click. You just want to go up to develop settings and you want to copy the settings. All right. So then you just want to tick all the boxes that you have. So if I've straightened the angle aspect ratio, you want to tick that as well. And I just want to click copy. Now you want to get to your keyboard and you want to press Command A. This will select all the pictures from your current import or your time lapses. You want to then right click on all these pictures and then you want to go to develop settings and you want to go to paste settings. This will paste the same settings that you've done for that, that one picture on every single one of the pictures. So this means you can get the best results from that. All right, so once you've done all this, you just want to export your pictures so you can put it into Final Cut Pro. Uh, so you just want to go up to the very top here, you want to go File and Export. And this will come up with export location, file naming, video, file settings, image sizing, output, sharpening, and metadata. So the main thing you want to look at is export location. Uh, I'm just going to choose a new folder. I'm just going to go new folder, and I'm just going to call mine spider lapse uh, 5 maybe. I'll create that. I'll just choose that folder. And so what that do is it'll export all those pictures into that folder, which then you can copy and paste into Final Cut Pro, which I'll show in a second. So you just want to click export. And this will start exporting your pictures, as you can see, out into that folder so then you can copy and paste. So once that's done, I'll just get back to you on the Final Cut Pro. Alright, so now that it's exported from Lightroom, I've closed it obviously. Uh, so you have a folder here with all the Lightroom pictures, so here they all are. <clears throat> so here's all the pictures that I've taken. So what you want to do is just open Final Cut Pro obviously. I just want to close this, just let Final Cut Pro open. So once Final Cut Pro is open, you just want to go up to the left hand corner and you just want to click on wants to load you just want to click up here and you just want to go file new project and that's just from whatever your time lapse you want to be called I'm just going to call this mine spider lapse and then I'm just going to do 4k version obviously I keep it as a 30 frame sort of thing as well so you can slow it down more you can go 60 if you really really think you're going to slow it down but in that case just slow it down anyway in post-production so let's just make that all right, so what you want to do is you want to find those pictures that you've used, obviously, f from using exporting them from Lightroom. So mine are right here, Spider 4. And so what, oh, you go. So once you've done that, you just want to open your pictures. So I'm just going to copy all the pictures that I've done. So here's all my pictures. You just want to go Command C, they'll copy them all. You just want to now want to go to Final Cut Pro. You want to click down here and you just want to press Command B. So what this will do is will start importing them into Final Cut Pro, which then you can process them and then make them into a 4K time lapse instead of only 1080p from Lightroom. Alright, so once that is imported and pro into your actual into your actual project, you just want to zoom right out so that you can get all the pictures you can. So let's just zoom out. So here's all my pictures. You just want to drag over all of them. 
You then just want to right click, you want to click on new compound clip, and then yeah, spider laps, whatever you want to call it sort of thing again. So I'm just going to click OK. And then you want to go to the speedometer over here, you want to click on this, and you want to go fast 20 times. So that will make your time lapse noticeably small, which is exactly what you want. But it's not going to be quite fast enough, so you might want to zoom in, I'm just going to go to about 15 seconds long. Okay, so but the only problem with this though is that because the pictures were taken in a four thirds ratio, you're gonna have to stretch them out. So by doing that, you just wanna click on this little transform button here. If it's not up, then you can just click down here and then it'll come up with a array of things you can use. So just click on transform. And you just wanna drag the edges out so that they're all, way, all the way out to the edge of the frame. So I'm just gonna drag it to about here. And now you don't have to color grade it. You can do a little bit if you want, but because you've edited all in Lightroom, you don't have to worry about any of that sort of stuff. That's literally it. So now that you can just play the time lapse straight back and you can see the whole time lapse is what it is and it looks really good quality because it's used from Lightroom. So it's frame by frame edited, which is exactly what you want. All right, that's the way of getting your best quality from your time lapses using the GoPro Hero 4 Black and any camera, in fact, if you want to use that. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. As always, peace.